Why the Demons Are Preaching The Garabandal Warning March 25th, Beelzebub, Prince of Demons, 1978, Switzerland I, Beelzebub, must repeat what I am repeating incessantly on the subject of the book, Warnings from the Beyond. I must repeat it on the day of the Annunciation. The Imprimatur The Imprimatur would be a very great help for the spreading of the book of the Warnings. If the work had had the benefit of the imprimatur, from a bishop, in spite of all the fluttering leaves and all that attacks, it would have made its way. This would be a great advantage for you, and you must work hard to obtain this goal, because it is the will of those from on high. Why the demons are speaking. You are already being ridiculed for all the good you wish to do with this book, as people who think they can see the devil. It is because time has run out that heaven has provided for the demon to be made to speak in this way, in order to help the good, particularly in the lamentable state of the church at the present time. There is no passage in this book which we had to take back as an exact, for it is all provided for in heaven's plan. An exception justifies the rule, mercy at work. To those who reproach you for not having followed the rules of the ritually Romanum you can reply that there are no rules without exceptions. If we, the demons, were found in a case of black obsession, it is obvious that we would not be able to tell the truth. If the obsession is black in the normal way, that is to say, if it is the consequence of sin, then certainly, the normal procedure is to follow the rules of the ritually Romanum. To be sure, Christ has said that one should not work on the Sabbath day, but when a beast has fallen into a pit on the Sabbath, one is allowed to pull it out on the Sabbath. In the case of the warnings, the church represents thousands of beasts who would have been hurled into pits, and they believe themselves to be eagles still flying in the sky. Why should these beasts and pits not be able to be saved? The more decadent humanity is, the more the Most High seeks ways of stirring men and waking them up. But if anyone refuses to believe, those from on high can do nothing. This was an effect of their mercy. Those who stick to the letter and think themselves learned, and those who do not recognize in this book a means of mercy will not receive mercy. Those who do not honor mercy and who do not practice it with regard to their neighbor would not know how to benefit from mercy. We have no right to judge and practice in charity. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Most men take no notice of that and believe that they can judge others. In truth, they have a blindfold over their eyes, and they are judging in situations where they have nothing to judge. And they build a volcano out of specks of dust. They know how to recognize the speck of dust which is in the eyes of others, but they fail to recognize the beam which is on the point of falling down on themselves. They should pay much more attention to not rotting away inside, or to not being struck by the beam which is threatening them. They should pay attention to not becoming dust and rubble themselves. All the reproaches which they address to others are nothing, compared to the reproaches they should be addressing to themselves. The most important thing, right now, would be to preach charity. What is the use of condemning someone else, when I should have been thinking about my own salvation? What need have we to judge others, since it is God who judges? who punishes them if they are not just, and who rewards them if they are just. To judge is not theirs, men's, duty. This does not rest with them it is not their task to judge privileged souls. It is not their task to claim to reveal the truth by ruining their reputations. To be sure, it is right to be on guard against false seers, but people of good judgment become aware of things which are not as they should be in the case of bogus seers. A man who has sound judgment, and appreciation of what is good, will quickly notice when there is something amiss. The worst thing is that they do not take a stand against the wicked ones. It is against the good ones that stands are taken. In this way, irreparable faults are committed. The accusers should first of all make their own mea culpa before smashing in the breasts of others with the beam. Phariseeism has nothing to do with the commandments of God. Even if it is presented as traditionalist, this is still Phariseeism. IT is necessary to act without delay. Act, act now. The days are numbered we ourselves feel it down there below. We have launched ourselves into all parts of the world, so vigorously that we have lost our breath. In spite of all these difficulties, the great lady from on high makes us say that it is necessary to bring out all the translations, 
in Italian, in English and in Spanish. This is because the book must throw light on the disastrous situation of the church and must become an aid for those who are searching for the truth about the state of the church in the way those up there see it. And the Holy Father, too, must act insofar as he is able to do so. Also, in the French edition everything must be added which it is possible to include. It must be printed that what we have said is for the good of the church, and that we have not been able to lie. You must spread this book as much as you can. Warnings must be spread throughout the entire world. She is there, she is there with her crown of stars. She is behind you, strengthening and sustaining you. Even if you do not feel it, even if you do not see it, she is behind you all the same. In spite of everything, she says, look for the possibility of having an imprimatur. Also publish without delay in the other languages. At least in the three languages that we have nominated. She has hoped that things would have progressed more rapidly. Act without delay, because in a little while, it may be too late. For these things you have her blessing, as those from on high grant blessings to everything that they wish and determine. We have spoken. We have been obliged to say all this against our will. The Garabandal warning. In our opinion, it seems to us that it cannot be long now. That is why we are launching this terrible assault in all corners of the world to be precise, because it seems to us that the wait for the warning should not last long now. But we do not know the exact moment. Amen.